Subtractive color mixing. We're combining pigments. A pigment is something that absorbs a portion of the visible spectrum. A pigment could be something in paint, ink, or in colored filters. Red pigment, for example, works by absorbing green and blue portions of the spectrum, leaving red. Likewise, green pigment absorbs the red and blue portions of the spectrum, leaving only the green. And blue pigment absorbs the red and green portion, leaving only the blue. With pigments, the primary colors are yellow, magenta, and cyan. Note that these were the secondary colors of light. Yellow, cyan, and magenta. So the yellow absorbs blue, leaving red and green, which, as we know, combine to make yellow. The cyan absorbs red, leaving the blue and green behind, making cyan. And the magenta absorbs the green, leaving the red and blue behind, which we know as magenta. In what is called subtractive color mixing, because we are removing colors from the spectrum with pigments, the secondary colors are red, green, and blue. These are the same as the primary colors of light. So combining yellow and cyan pigments means we are absorbing the blue and the red, leaving only the green. Combining cyan and magenta absorbs the red and the green, leaving the blue. And combining magenta and yellow absorbs the green and the blue, leaving red. To recap, pigments remove or subtract a portion of the visible spectrum. What is left is the color we see. When we add two pigments, we are removing or subtracting two portions of the visible spectrum. This is called subtractive color mixing. A color printer works by combining different quantities of cyan, magenta, and yellow inks to make many different colors. Adding black ink as well adds for, uh, allows for a range of intensities, and the combination, called CMYK, for cyan, yellow, magenta, and I'm not sure why they use a K for black, but that's what it stands for, can produce an almost unlimited combination of colors.